recording. Well, hello everyone. It's time for something a little bit crazier today. You ready to get a little crazy? As long as I've been teaching art, which is a long time, I have noticed that uh, even very, very young children, even younger than Harper, uh, kindergarten and even pre-k kids can understand when something is trying to look real or when it might just be shapes and colors and lines and it is very what's the word do you remember abstract abstract harper in your own words what does it mean when art is abstract crazy and does not look real crazy and does not look real that's fine fine for now i've noticed that little kids especially love to do work in the style of abstract expressionist Jackson Pollock. Pollock is probably the most famous for like splattering wild uh, explosive arrays of paint across the canvas. He would do this listening to very specific music. He would put on jazz. The jazz would infuse him with creative energy and he would fling ridiculous copious amounts of paint all over the canvas or the wood or whatever he was painting on. You know what's fun? Shooting paint all over the place. Everybody likes it! We're gonna have Harper do some Jackson Pollock uh, paint explosions. If you want to do this, find a wide open space, put down a big drop cloth to where you can cover anything that should not have paint splattered all over it to where your parents will be happy instead of sad. And then you just dip your paint and you fling like mad. Fling like mad. You fling the paint. Fling it! Harper, what do you do? Fling it. Fling it! Fling that paint! Fling that paint. Have fun. It's supposed to be fun. Fun should be had by all. All right, so what we have here is a huge drop cloth and a blank white piece of wood we're using. And uh, it's gonna be perfect to show up some Jackson Pollock-like paint explosions. Oopsie. Think that's enough paint? We'll see. that it does not look very real. What does it look? Abstract. Abstract like who? Jackson Pollock. 